today's episode of Moto Cheese. Maybe you can hire the M Team. The following movie is rated I. Pull out old reliable. I gotta find a manifold spot here. Hmm. I also noticed it was a valve here. Or is it not a valve? It's knurled like it turns, but I couldn't get it to turn either. Oh, there's a boost down. This one we can do. I could definitely do that one. It's gonna have to go right here. Nice and tight. Well. For now, we'll just run it here. And then once I know how much boost this thing does, I can order a proper gauge. Can't put it there. Maybe run it to my phone holder. Eh, maybe. That'll hold it. See what we got, boys? What do you think? I say 12 pounds. That's my guess. That should stay there. Yeah. Leak already. Got a little leak, boys. Maybe I can clamp it up a little more. No. That's pretty tight, too. As tight as the other one was. I don't have a reducer that goes down where I can make it go to the bar. Maybe I do by now. I did order some other fittings. Let's see. Not looking good. That might be the right size. I bet you Jeffro has it. Well, that should work if I can get that hose up in there pretty good. What's up with these tie wraps? If it's a little bit cold, like down here, it's like maybe 60. They're brittle. I don't remember that. Outside, when it's really cold, yeah. Not in 50, 60 degree weather. That should work. No boost yet. And then I could see if that real touchy point in my throttle where it just takes off, if it has anything to do with the boost, huh? So it looks like seven pounds of boost. It's pretty low, huh? Yeah, it is, it is transition just right there I can feel it Ooh. Oh, there's a little more still eight pounds of boost right there you think if it's designed to be a turbo you can go all the way to 12 15 See, I put my little rubber plate down. Oh, that was almost nine pounds there. Eight pounds of boost. 
Wingdale Mountain would be a good test too, for sure. You know the one that they test many out on. Let's see if I can slide it up a little further. That's on there tight too. My buddy Gary confirmed when the turbo kicks in is in fact normal. Right there is eight pounds max boost under load. Turbo is different than a supercharger, which everybody already knows. But I wonder why when the RPMs went up, my boost started going down. He said that's normal with a turbo too. It has to have load to push boost. Where on a supercharger, it's a mechanical driven, so it's always the more RPMs, the more boost. I never had a turbo, so I had no idea. Now I know. These tires are wearing in now getting a little quieter. I get a few hundred miles on them, they'll probably be good. Got my lift on the way from Harley. And Gary didn't get it. He goes, why? Why a van? I figure it'd be good for Florida. Off-road and all that. You know, some people don't get it. The fuel mileage should be pretty awesome, even with these bigger tires. These tires are really only two inch bigger than the stock tires that were on it, diameter-wise. So I do think this is TBI, which is throttle body injected. And I saw an adjustment screw on the top of it. I can mess with that. Just count the moves I'm doing, but maybe that'll help with the idle. Maybe that's all it is. It does run good otherwise. So it looks like a 15 pound boost gauge it is. Same one that's in mini truck. See, it's like it runs perfect now. There's a knob here. I wonder what that does. Oh, it must be just must be just idle. Oh well. Well, just when I was getting ready to shut it off, it shut off. Extra weight in that side. Oh, it is. Looks like I'll be sleeping in a van. She's living in a van down by the river. Boy, you feel that wind, huh? Cheese and Mrs. Cheese is going to the Cheesecake Factory. They're just jealous. Push that button down behind you. I don't even know how to lock this one. Like that. I forgot my hammer's on my head. The next day. Oh, look what came in. $50 it cost me to get this here. I guess somebody at Ross filled up the gas and left the cap at the gas station. Wouldn't normally somebody just... And I guess any key will open it. That's it. That's all that locks it. I can see why it's easy to lose. It's not very tight either. Hmm. 
not very tight. I've been told. <laughs> I'll definitely keep this. Keep it in the glove compartment. 50 bucks for that thing. Wow. But I pity the fool. What's up, microvan? Mama's waiting for breakfast already. I think she likes it. It said 43 today. Last night I took the tire off and tried to put the skinnier tire on. I jammed it on there. It's so wide it barely fit and then it won't fit back on because it's the spring. And man, that rim was a little bit bent and it's so far out of balance, the tire. So I balanced it within, you know, as much as I could. And then the tires, of course, because there's so much knobbies on them, they were out of, a little bit out of round, you know. You always get that with the oversized tires and just hope it's not on the heavy side. In the worst case, I can save these for the mini truck and maybe get a set of more normal tires for this since it doesn't have low range. Thanks, Joseph from Wappagers. He's close. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to put these big tires on. The way the price of gas and everything is. Notice the flare is gone. They needed to pass inspection there. Try 89. What kind of car is that? It's a Daihatsu. Okay, so that's a Japanese? Okay. Yeah, Toyota owns them now. Oh, Toyota owns them. Okay. It's an import from Japan. It's like the original minivan. Right. They're actually called micro vans now. Oh, okay. That's interesting. No, it's different. Thanks. 7.3 gallons. I'm gonna have to adjust this to make it tighter somehow. Maybe put a little O-ring behind that. Definitely loose. Seven gallons, 280 kilometers in miles. So that's 173.98, so I'll say 174 miles. Yep, seven gallons. 24.9. Uh, it's not bad. I did do a little off-road and I did do a lot of a lot of stepping on it. So I can definitely get 30. Easy. Over 30. This guy wants to box me in. You don't want none? I'm trying to push a micro van, are you? Actually, the last 100 miles almost were the bigger tire, so. But 25 is a good round figure, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, plus I drove around the yard a couple times. Clean it up and put some two sided tape. I don't understand. The other side doesn't do it. This tire must be a little farther forward. Come on, Harley, ship me my list. See if I have one of these clips. Doubt it. It's actually not, not big enough. <sighs> Oversized tire problems. Might have had something originally on here. Them back ones look like they do. All the rest of them. Wonder who that could be. It's Motor Rider. What's up? Put the bigger tires, but it keeps that tire keeps rubbing. And I shave both sides the same. It just it hits here. So I'm gonna put some two-sided tape. I broke one of the clips already. Oops. I lost oh. this, but I found it luckily. Damn. Look pretty nice. Yeah, they got a lot of meat, huh? Wish it was warmer. This shit don't stick when it's cold. And it looked like all of these had them. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they... Should be better than what it was. Yeah. Because right. it just catches that corner, and I don't want to cut that off. Yeah, right. You know, if I cut that off, then there's really nothing. Yeah, nothing. To I left, yeah, I left that hook. Once it's lifted, it probably won't look <clears throat> as far out, but it still throws <clears throat> down the side. Fire Flares. Sport. I thought about <clears throat> that too, if I could find something that looks <clears throat> okay. Look cool. That's almost two inches. You look down at it and it's like, wow. Yeah. I mean, I like the tires, but... <clears throat> yeah, they are good. 
Nice tires. They got some meat on them things. They're expensive yeah, right? though. Two thirty a piece. Mm -hmm. Two forty. Cost more than my Jeep tires. <laughs> so I put a boost. Boost controller. Mm, well, a little, not a boost controller, Just but my little boost, boost gauge. Nine pounds, max. I asked Gary and he's like, oh, I don't know, and then you got to have more fuel. I'm like, I would think just for like one or two pounds, it should definitely yeah, right. be able to calculate that yeah. little bit, you know. You get the 10. Because it's fuel injected, right. Yeah, 10, 11 pounds. Yeah, that's all you really need. Just a tiny, tiny bit <clears throat> more. That little hesitation is turbo lag. Thank Never you. owned a turbo. It's, it's weird, though. You'd be giving it like a little gas, take off, all of a sudden it's like... Vroom. I thought a turbo pulled <clears throat> like a supercharger pulls when the RPMs go up. It don't. It starts dropping. The boost drops. Yeah. But the mini truck does have a little bit more power with the supercharger. I don't think a lot, but it's, I think it does have a little bit. This has fifth gear, so it's... Yeah, it's a little longer. When I opened it up the other day, I was like, holy cow, that, that tire's barely clear. Yeah, hold on. Right? That would have sucked. Yeah, right, that would have. And then someone pointed out it came from Hawaii. You'd think if it was registered in Hawaii, you'd be able to just register it here. Yeah, right. Shit. I did get this cap. That's another thing I got to do. Feel how loose that is. It's just like. Yeah, it's fucking. Is there yeah. a seal in this? Look at it, it's leaking gas. No, the seal's in there. I think I'm going to have to put an O ring behind it. I have 50 dollars, too. Damn. This probably is made in China. Maybe if I pull that off and just stick an O-ring behind it to space it out. Hmm. Must not be thick enough. Maybe like that. Or maybe. Fifty dollars. Pay fifty dollars and it doesn't work. Isn't that great? Oh yeah, that's good. What do you think? Oh yeah. I need it. I need a thicker O-ring. Yeah. Yeah, look at all the gas I lost. <laughs> Jeez. Nah, I like it. I'm kind of disappointed yeah. it doesn't have high and low. Yeah. And then I'm kind of disappointed that these seats don't, don't flip totally flat. There is a little, two little access panels that come off under the rug. If this had the bench seat, it would flip all the way down. It'll do. I mean, how much camping am I gonna really do? <laughs> Just get clear. Huh, the mouse is still in there. That's the battery. All the way back here, battery. Yeah, right. That is wild. Pretty huh? nice actually. Carpet. Yeah, it's in good shape. Yeah, it's pretty nice on there. I don't know what these are. I just stuck them there, though. They're probably it's supposed to go under their battery. Probably. It's not in bad shape. No. Maybe a CV too. Yeah, I'll probably take the radio out and put the CB in the same spot I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to put a CB and then put a whip or something. This is sticking out for some reason. When I take it off, one, oh, that's why. I, Clip. The clip's off. Maybe you're missing that little tab thing coming out. Yeah, better than what it was. Ah, new stickers. I like it. Next to that old locomotive there, huh? Trade you for a leather key tag. Take your pick, light or dark. Dark. I'm not really a sticker person, even though I make the stickers. Like, I don't even put them on my own trucks, but I'll have to figure out where to put them. Put it, the other one's still on the dash out there. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.